It's now my honor to bring up the governor of the state of Maryland, Senator Moore. Governor Moore. <laughs> Good morning. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm beyond grateful to, uh, to Senator Cardin, not just for, for the leadership and for the vision, but also for the invitation to be here today. Uh, and, and I'm thankful to this entire delegation. I, I say I am blessed that I have uh, the most outstanding federal delegation that any governor could ever ask for. And I'm grateful because today represents exactly what it has been like for these past two weeks. Uh, because the state of Maryland is still very much mourning. We're still very much mourning the loss of six Marylanders who were working in the middle of the night doing dangerous work that did not have to be deadly. That the state of Maryland is still mourning because we know that there are still three souls that are still unaccounted for. And for them, for their families, we continue to pray for them and to pray with them and pray over them. But we also know that the meeting today was very emblematic of the kind of support that the state of Maryland has had from the very beginning. Because about two weeks ago, a part of our soul fell into the Patapsco River, a part of our landscape, and a part of what makes Baltimore, Maryland so special. And literally from the first moments of that happening, watching the response of our federal delegation, watching the response of the Biden administration, watching the response of our federal partners from the Army Corps of Engineers to the Coast Guard to Navy Soupsol, that this has been a true coordinated effort. And we're grateful. And I just stand here as simply a representative of 6.3 million people who are not just here to say thank you, but also here to say that we are prepared to be partners in this work for the long run. That we know it is imperative that the four objectives that we have laid out have to be accomplished, that we have to make sure that we are providing a sense of closure and a sense of comfort to these families, that we have to make sure that we are getting the channel reopened, that we have to make sure that we are taking care of those who have been directly impacted, including our first responders, including our port workers, including these families, and we have to make sure that we are rebuilding the Francis Scott Key Bridge, and that the state plans on being full partners inside of that work. And knowing that just in these past days, we have done things like on last Friday where I signed an executive order allowing the release of $60 million that's going towards supporting our workers and individual small businesses impacted, that later on today I'll be heading back up to Annapolis to sign the Maryland Port Act, where we worked in partnership with the General Assembly to ensure that our port workers are not going to be forgotten in this, and also that the children of those who have died due to transportation accidents, that their education can be taken care of. And we've also been able to launch things like the Maryland Tough Baltimore Strong Alliance, which is an alliance of over 80 businesses and organizations, philanthropy and private sector, who have said that in this moment they will step up and double down in their support of Baltimore and in the support of Maryland and in support of the people impacted. But we also know that the support from the federal government and the support of Congress is also going to be imperative in this. And so the chance to stand in partnership with people like Director Young and Secretary Buttigieg and the entire team from the Biden-Harris administration and all of our federal partners with our congressional delegation, I just want to say on behalf of 6.3 million people that we appreciate it. It's never going to be forgotten. And we plan on being parts with you every single step of the way going forward.